Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we have a Harry Potter Shein haul. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So yes, we have quite a huge Harry Potter Shein haul. There is a hole in it. This is how it arrived and it's all inside this giant bag. So let's go ahead and open it up and see everything that I picked out at Shein. Gotta be careful on how I open this because I'm scared I'm gonna cut something. Okay, here's your sneak peek. <laughs> so you would have seen on top there was something pink and you have any guesses? <laughs> pink and Harry Potter. I feel like that could only be two things. Either probably something Umbridge or birthday Harry Potter cake. <laughs> so this is actually why I wanted to make this order is because I noticed they had some pillows on their site that were really cute, unique designs that I haven't seen. And there was one other like clothing item that I really wanted to try out because it was getting a lot of high reviews. But this pillow is the Happy Birthday Harry cake and it is really soft. It's a little less filled than I would like. It feels a little empty is what I'm saying. Like it could have a better shape if it was fuller and I'm not seeing a zipper where I could fill it myself. So this is what it is. So just a little bit more on the less like fluffy side, <laughs> but it is a Harry Potter licensed pillow. Here is the tag information and I'm not sure how much this one costs. I will try to find my order and put all the prices on the screen as we go and I will link like as much as I can find. Sometimes you buy it and then like the next day it's gone. So I'm not sure if everything is still available, but if it is, I will link it down in my description box. But this is the first item. It is the Happy Birthday Harry Cake pillow. Here's a close up of like that material. And here's the back side, just plain. Here's how thick it is. But I just wish it was a little more full but I feel like it was around 13 bucks or something. So not bad for the price. All right, since we're talking about pillows, let me show you the second pillow that I picked up. This one's really squished in here. All right. Ooh, I really like how this one looks. That's nice. Okay. It's a platform nine and three quarters ticket pillow, a little cushion. And I think these are gonna be so nice for like little decor pieces and if you don't know, I have quite the pillow collection, so I feel like I needed to add this to mine. But it's really nice because it has this like embroidery of the platform, nine and three quarters name, and it's like a gold threading. So it's really pretty. It's very like a sheen, kind of shiny look to it. Again, this one, I feel like it could have done with a little more fluff inside it. And I do wish there was like a zipper so I could add it myself and fix it. I actually like this one more than the Happy Birthday Harry. It just feels like a better quality, but I do have to say this one has like a bit of a smell to it. This one doesn't, like an odor. <laughs> I hope just like kind of airing it out, it will go away. Maybe I'll need to spray it with some Febreze, but it's a little on the stinky side. All right, now I've got quite a few clothing items that I picked up, so we'll go right into the apparel. First thing is a cardigan, and it's a Gryffindor cardigan because I am a Gryffindor. Here is what it looks like. It's got Gryffindor down the sleeve. It's got the Gryffindor like Quidditch patch. This one also kind of has a odor to it, so I'm sure I could wash this one out. And it's very knitted. It feels like it would keep you very warm. I don't think I'll be able to wear this anytime soon, but like I was saying with Shein, sometimes things will sell out. So might as well grab it when you see it. Yeah, just a very simple Gryffindor red cardigan. And I got this one in a size large and I think it's gonna fit me just fine. Next, I got some socks. One thing about like going to the theme parks pretty often, I feel like you can never have enough socks and sock options for different outfits. So I did grab these. They have a very Quidditch theme to them. They're bright red. Got the Gryffindor line there, the golden snitch, little stripes at the top, and then the rest are just red. And I like the length of these as well. So I think these will get some good use at the theme parks. Next, I got a dress. Ooh, this is cute. It's very simple. I hope it fits. Some of the dresses that I got in my last Shein haul did not fit. <laughs> not fit me at least. I tend to go for large, extra large when I shop for Shein. 
usually that's the largest size you can get. So this one is a large. It's got a little button in the back because it's got a collar on it, but it's just a simple black dress. It's like cinched at the waist and at the bottom of the sleeve. Very poofy sleeves. And then here's the Harry Potter element. It's again that same Gryffindor patch, that like Quidditch design one. So I really hope this fits because it's very cute. It does feel pretty stretchy, not too stretchy, but maybe enough to make it work. Ooh, this next one is one of the main reasons why I placed this order. This sweater vest has come very highly recommended. If you're over on Instagram or better known, Pottergram, <laughs> a lot of people have this one and everyone loves it. So I had to get the Gryffindor one for myself. It's got a very cute, like knitted sweater look to it. It's got the Gryffindor crest right here. It is available in all four Hogwarts houses. And everyone says that this one's very much true to size. So I think I ended up getting a large still because I'd rather it be, oh no, I didn't get a large. I ended up getting a medium. It does, it looks like it could fit as a large. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's gonna fit me just fine. So I'm really happy about this. I think it would look so cute with a like white shirt underneath the collar out. I've seen people wear it just with this and a skirt underneath and it's very cute as well. Really excited about this one. Next, we have another cardigan. This one is a Gryffindor one and it feels very like school vibes. <laughs> so this one's just a Hogwarts one. So this would be good for all Hogwarts houses which I really like that's more universal. The bottom has kind of like a gray, almost blue colored line at the bottom, a little stripe. And it is a button down cardigan. You can see that right there. This one does have a little bit of an odor as well. I got mine in a size large. And then here's kind of the best backup view I can give you of this cardigan. It's very thin, so it's almost see-through. I don't know if you can see me through it, but I feel like the light is definitely catching through it. A very lightweight. So far I'm really liking everything I ordered. Some stuff feels better quality than others. Like that last one was really lightweight, but this one, ooh, this one's nice. This one's pretty thick. Ooh, I like this one a lot. This one I think is my favorite cardigan. So this cardigan, let me try to back it up. It's got this kind of like V shape towards the bottom. It's got those Gryffindor colors with that red and gold, and it's really cute, but the back, the back is where it's at. It says captain, so this is the captain of the Quidditch team. Does that say Hufflepuff? Stop. <gasps> oh my gosh, I was so impressed with this. Why, 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 why? This is not Hufflepuff colors, these are Gryffindor colors. And it says Hufflepuff on the back. Are you kidding me? So is this H for Hufflepuff? Oh my God. It's got the badgers. And I did not notice that. Is that what it looked like online? I just totally missed it. I really thought this was gonna be a Gryffindor. Why would it be red? Oh my gosh, and the quality of this one was so much nicer. Like, if you can see this material, it feels really nice. I felt like I was gonna wear this a lot, but now I'm like, what? Well, anyways, here's the patch. <laughs> it says Hogwarts on it. See, I was thinking the H was Hogwarts, but what's going on here? What is this? I feel so duped right now. I cannot believe that this is, ho I would rather just say Hogwarts. Like, it could have just been more of a universal one. Why does it say Hufflepuff but Gryffindor colors? That's so disappointing. Oh, well, this almost was my favorite item. Now it's become my least favorite item because I don't think I'll wear it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. What a waste. Okay, moving on. I've got a bunch of socks. <laughs> I cannot believe that. That is so bad. Okay, so <laughs> these next pair of socks, they say Gryffindor and they're in Gryffindor colors. <laughs> So here's the Gryffindor lion. I love this like argle, like plaid pattern. I love it. I think it's so cute and I like the length. It's not quite knee length, but a little longer than, you know, the, what's the other one called? I don't know. 
it's a good length. <laughs> They're socks. These are the Gryffindor ones. Can't say anything wrong about them. Anyways, <laughs> I got so flustered from the Hufflepuff sweater. The next ones. These are definitely giving like Quidditch vibes as well. But this is the design. It does have the Gryffindor line on the front. So when you wear them, they'll show here instead of on the side, which I think is fun. They're very like bright yellow and red. I always associate like this bright yellow and red with Quidditch. I don't know why. Is that, is that right? <laughs> but I feel like the more maroon stuff is more like the regular school uniform. Speaking of, got another bright yellow and red pair of socks. I will be stocked up with my socks. So see, this one has the Quidditch Gryffindor crest on it, and that Argyle pattern. Very cute. You see like the different length sizes. Fun. These are cute. Okay, so they're just yellow and white, and they're probably Hufflepuff. <laughs> Apparently, I'm buying Hufflepuff stuff. They've got H's all over them. You know, I associate the H with Hogwarts, but maybe it's Hufflepuff at this point. But I like the like fringy top to them. They're not as like, I don't know. They don't look like they did online. <laughs> what I'm saying kind of looks a little weird here, but they did look cuter online. They're not bad. I'll still wear them. So yeah, those are the last pair of socks. Don't know what this is. Headband. Oh, yep. Yeah, looks like a little like scarfy kind of headband. So yes, it's a scarf. It says Gryffindor on there. It's got the Gryffindor crest on both sides. It's very like silky so you could definitely tie this around your hair and it'd be really cute especially if you wore it up or something you want to add a little accessory. Tie it around like a ponytail and have it hanging with like a bow I think would be really sweet so there's a bunch of different options. You could also probably put it like under a collared shirt and like tie a cute little bow. That would be really adorable. So lots of different ways like you could use this so I'm glad I got this feels really nice quality as well. Last item <laughs> of this haul. It's just like a cute little accessory. It's of the Happy Birthday Harry Cake and it's a little clip so you can just add it on to like any of your bags. I'd probably add it on a backpack or a crossbody or maybe even a tote just to kind of give a little cute accessory nod at Harry Potter and it would be really cute to wear as an accessory for like Harry Potter's birthday. So if you know, I was about to say it, but if you know Harry Potter's birthday, leave it down in the comments below. And I just think it's so much fun. I love this design. It's adorable. It matches my cute little pillow. So Shein definitely has a lot of cute Harry Potter stuff on their site right now. So if you want to check it out, they've got pretty decent prices. I feel like everything kind of ranged, like the socks were less than $10, but everything else like clothing wise and the pillows, I think we're between 10 to $20. I don't think I bought anything at 20. And that's going to wrap up today's Harry Potter Shein haul. Let me know what your favorite item was down in the comments below. If I had to pick a favorite, I think it's going to be this vest. I'm glad I bought it. I feel like I'll get the most use out of this one. So that's why it's my favorite. I did have a lot of good picks out of this order. It's been my favorite Shein Harry Potter haul that I've done so far with even the mishap of this sweater being <laughs> that crossover Hufflepuff Gryffindor. I'm so disappointed because it feels so nice. <laughs> but all is well. But I hope this helps if you were thinking about purchasing anything from Shein and you're curious about their Harry Potter stuff and the quality and what it's going to look like once it arrives. But as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!